Turn with me to Revelation 2 and verse 2. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience, how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. I'm going to tell you something. I was at Branham Tabernacle here three weeks ago. And so this brother is giving us a, a little tour, and he says, you know what? Our home is our church. I want to ask you, is that Brother Branham's teaching? And what we need today is another waiting on the Holy Ghost. Amen. The witness of God to come change us from a bunch of Pharisees cold and starched to witnesses of the resurrection Amen. of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is not an empty shell, a place where people go and, and the church is not an empty shell, rather, a place where people go in a big old hall building or something or other worth a hundred million dollars or something. There. Malachi 4, 5, and 6 was sent to return us back to the faith of our fathers. God and his people manifesting himself in us, his bride, not focused on a church built with hands. Then when completely surrendered, God came down again in the Shekinah glory and built all the house where they were sitting. What did God do? Like the ark dropping into its proper sockets for the message of that day, God dropped back into his proper channel. Amen. Not into a denomination or into a building made with hands, but into the heart of man. He dropped in his place for the last day, which said the prophet Joel, it shall come to pass in the last days, I'll pour out my Shekinah upon all flesh. Amen. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young man shall dream dreams. The old man shall see visions. God came to his resting place where he finds rest, not in a building, but in the heart of his people. Amen. He finds rest. Father God, into your hands. Uh, I commend this message. Though it's been chopped up some way, I pray that the Holy Spirit will go with it on these tapes across the nations. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. If I shall be taken from the earth, may this live, Lord. It's your word. Let the evening light shine, Lord. Bring forth this glorious bride of Christ. Bless it, Lord. May it not return to you void. May it accomplish that which it was in purpose, Father. Grant it, Father. All praises shall be thine. Now, we know, Father, no matter what we would say, it's still word and we believe it. But we would desire thee, Lord, on this Easter morning, that thou would prove to this congregation, maybe some here for their first time, that you are still Jesus. That you are not a dead farm. That you are a living, resurrected God. That you live among us today. Grant that, Father, and we'll praise thee. Through Jesus' name, amen.